वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन अवर चैनल स्टडी फॉर विन माई नेम इज मृदुल एंड टुडे आई विल हियर टू टेल यू अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज ट्रस्ट इट इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ टेक्निकल डिग्री और बी टेक डिग्री इट इज़ वेरी यूजफुल फॉर द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशन लाइक जेई और टेक्निकल एग्जामिनेशन इट इज़ रिलेटेड टू इंजीनियरिंग मकैनिक्स द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ मकैनिकल इंजीनियर स्टडी दिस टॉपिक इन हिज बी टेक लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज ट्रस अ ट्रस is a structure made up of cylinder members pin connected at ends and is capable of taking loads at joints the trusses are also known as pin jointed frames it means that a truss is a structure which is made up by cylinder members and all the members in a truss or in a frame are pin connected or pin jointed at ends and the load acting on that particular truss or a particular frame or members or a structure only at joints the trusses are also known as pin jointed frames because all the members in a truss are connected by a pin or members are pin connected that's why trusses are also known as or called as pin jointed frames or pin jointed structure the next question is what are the examples of truss examples of truss the first one is roof truss roof truss is used to support sloping roofs next is bridge trusses bridge, bridge trusses are used to support deck next is transmission towers it is a very common example of a truss transmission towers all of you are seeing transmission towers in your daily life the next one is wooden trusses these are used to support light weighted roofs these trusses are light in weight so these trusses are used to support the light weighted roofs or light weighted structure or frame next question is what is perfect deficient and redundant trusses it is a very important question for the exam point of view perfect truss deficient truss and redundant truss the basic concept of trusses are based on these three the first one is perfect truss perfect truss is a pin jointed truss which has got just sufficient number of members to resist the loads without undergoing appreciable deformation in shape it means that it is a pin jointed truss which has got the number of members and the number of members in a perfect truss in such a way that it is used to or it is it helps in to resist the loads without undergoing appreciable deformation it means that when the load is applied at joints in a perfect truss there is no deformation in that particular frame or particular structure that is perfect truss Triang triangular truss is the best or perfect example of a perfect truss in figure 1 all of you are seeing a triangle there are total number of members 
points are one, two, and three, which are in circle, and the number of joints is one, two, and three. Perfect to satisfy the condition given below as m is equal to two j minus three. It is the basic equation to solve a truss. It is used to solve the problems of trusses. The condition which a perfect truss satisfies is m is equal to two j minus three, where m is equal to number of members. And J is equal to number of joints. From figure one, we put the value of m and j in the equation. M is equal to two j minus three. J is equal to three. That is number of joints. And m is equal to also three. That is number of members. Now we put the value in the equation. M is equal to two j minus three. J is equal to three. Three into two six minus three is equal to three. That is left hand side. And in the right hand side, the value of M that is number of members is equal to three. It means that the left hand side which is three and the right hand side which is also three, ah, uh, is equal. It means that left hand side is equal to Right hand side. Hence, it satisfies the condition of a perfect truss. So, the perfect example of a perfect truss is a triangular truss. Now, deficient truss. If the number of members in it are less than that required for a perfect truss, means In a deficient truss, the number of members are less than that is required for a perfect truss. In perfect truss, the equation is m is equal to two j minus three. And in a deficient truss, the equation becomes m is less than two j minus three. It means that the number of members Are less than that required for a perfect truss. M is equal to number of members and J is equal to number of joints. In Figure two, all of you are seeing that the value of M, number of members, is equal to four, and the value of joints J is also four. We put the value in the equation M is less than two J minus three, and we found that. Four is less than five. It means that it satisfy the condition of deficient truss. Now, redundant truss. It is it is just opposite to the deficient truss. In deficient truss, the equation is m is less than two j minus three. This is the equation. And in the redundant truss, the equation becomes m is greater than two j minus three. It means that the number of members in a redundant truss are more than required for a perfect truss. It is just opposite to the deficient truss. In deficient truss, number of members are required less than that of perfect truss. On the other hand. In a redundant truss, the number of members are more than required for a perfect truss, and the equation becomes m is greater than two j minus three. The figure, which all of you are seeing in a right corner, satisfies the condition of a redundant truss. Hence, in the summary, the Equation of perfect truss is m is equal to two j minus three. The equation of deficient truss is m is less than two j minus three. And the equation in redundant truss is m is greater than two j minus three. In the next video. 
I will tell you about the methods how to solve the numeric problems of trusses and what is the different types of method to solve to solve a problem of a truss. I hope all of you like this video. If you like this video, please share it. Thank you. Thank you.